Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks update. In this video we're going to be covering the update as of today which is version 1.2.21. Now in this week's update the devs have gone and released a new feature which is going to be the new AI hospital ship. Yes we now have a AI hospital ship that we can go and transport our wounded passengers or NPCs too. Now a few weeks ago we got the new AI refueling plane which did a little bit of patrol around the world and we could obviously refuel our aircraft using that. Now devs have added onto that, obviously being more focused on missions in the moment. Uh, they've gone and added this hospital ship that kind of just roams around the world and you can go and uh, pretty much deliver your NPCs to it. So this will act as a brand new hospital, just like you have all the other hospitals in the world. Uh, for example, Central Hospital and you also have the St. Sebastian's Hospital. These act as a place for you to deliver your NPCs. Now you can choose most of the time you can choose any of these hospitals to deliver them to so the hospital ship will act as an additional hospital okay meaning that when you're doing your missions whether it's standard or non-standard you can go and deliver your npcs to it which is quite a cool little feature now you'll notice that this is not a static object it actually is moving around the world and you can notice it's just over here up in the north now it is underway and it is constantly moving this icon should update every hour i'm guessing around every 30 seconds or every minute and we should see that updating in a few minutes here uh, it doesn't constantly update so we're going to use my survival series veto and we're going to try and hunt it down and see if we can try and land on it See what ship they're using and just see how it generally works and how fast is it going. So let's jump inside the VTOL here. I've got everything more or less ready to go. So we're just going to set a nice little waypoint for ourselves. Uh, get that into our keypad. We'll get a cruising altitude of let's say 499 and we'll set all that stuff up. Uh, and we'll head off here in a few seconds and I'll meet you guys back once we get close to the ship. So we should be coming up to it's just in a few seconds here. It's, yep, as you can see, it's just down there. Uh, if we have a look at it, so just in the distance. So let's start going down to that and let's see uh, what it actually looks like. I have no idea what we're going to see here. Now, uh, if I'm correct, there is only a one and I'm not also, once again, not too sure on which way it will patrol the waters. Uh, I think it's just on its own little mission and I think it's just probably going from empty ocean block to empty ocean block. I could be wrong in that, but uh, okay, so quite a decent sized ship as you guys can see just beneath us here. Uh, let's start going down and let's see if we can land now. Speed wise, uh, not that fast. It's very, it seems very reasonable. For you to go and land on it uh, so let's just go up onto the back here now you can imagine once the waves and wind is going it might be really hard uh, to land on this today we've got quite nice weather so i think it's quite easy uh what size is the landing pad at the back it looks like it's quite decent size let's uh, zoom in a bit here for you guys uh, we'll go through here okay so relatively large size it looks like it's also got some rope anchors on there so you can tie down your vehicle okay let's just land Cool, so we are landed, we do have our brakes on, let's go and lower our RPS, let's get out uh, and let's maybe connect some rope anchors just in case here. Uh, we don't want our VTOL to go flying away. So you can see we've got some rope anchors here, so we'll connect one there and we'll connect it maybe to this one there. Okay, so we're on the back here, our VTOL is 100% secure. Pretty cool, okay, so we can't take any of the diesel, I don't think at least. I wonder if it's got any jet fuel on it. Doesn't look like it though, no. Okay, it's just got a bunch of winch points, uh, some anchors and things. I do like this though, that you can possibly take this and then connect it to somewhere on your aircraft. So let's connect it over here, for example. And I think we could possibly winch this in. Let's do so, winch in. Yes, you can. So you can really secure your, your aircraft on here if you're worried about it falling off or anything. Uh, we've got a hangar door, I wonder if this opens no it doesn't okay so you you can go in here oh, so it looks like an old ai area we got some beds and things so this is cool so this would act as one big hospital place so i'm guessing what would happen is that you would land you would have your npcs in here you would just pretty much bring them in here and as soon as they come into the zone um for example here rescue zone then they would be activated as being in a hospital but the nice thing is also we do have empty beds, so if you're playing multiplayer and things and you are really low on health, you can bring your friends here if need be. Uh, and I'm guessing the rest of it, this is all probably locked and we can't go through it. Uh, yeah, so everything else is locked. 
So yeah, so this is the mobile rescue hospital. I think it's really cool. I think it's a great idea. Uh, I would like to see if a couple things upgraded maybe in the future, maybe some equipment uh, so you can replenish your stock if need be. And then possibly also an option for us to refuel jets uh, engines, you know, on our helicopters or on our VTOLs or things like that. So I would love to see a refueling option here on this. Now, I guess a user, you could create your own. Very possible that you could do that. Um, but I would just like to see it just stock in game that has all these additional things just in case. You can see that these should be some lockers for equipment, but we can't actually get access to that. Uh, I do I like the idea of having winches on here, so you can obviously really secure your your veto or your helicopter whatever it needs to be especially if the weather is is really bad you can imagine how hard it would be for us to get this veto landed and also very secured uh let's actually pump it up here let's go up a bit let's just take off and i want to just put the wind on completely full and let's just see how hard this would be for us to go and land on that so you can see how much we are firstly getting thrown around by that wind uh, and the same goes with the actual boat itself you can see how much that's getting thrown around so yeah very difficult to do this if the weather conditions are bad obviously you're not always going to have your wind at 100 percent uh your wind might be at something like 30 percent or so on so that would make it a little bit more easier for you to land on here uh so it is a good idea that you can secure those i think definitely so guys that's pretty much about it for this week's update uh there's been a few updates to the lewis script and this is how devs have obviously made this all possible uh, that you have zones that actually can move with vehicles uh, and that's the whole point of this update there are some updates to lua there's also a few updates to uh, i know the creative islands had a little bit of a fix with the flooring i know that was an issue uh, i even spotted that one and uh, what else they do they also fix the ladders so ladders will have a stronger force now when you're climbing them so when you're trying to climb a ladder let me just go and show you guys so when you're trying to climb a ladder, there will be a little bit more force here that will actually go and throw you up. And you see like that, see how it pushed me away there? Uh, so that's a new thing where it's a little bit more force on it's designed to push you up and over something, especially when you have ladders and hatches that you need to climb through. It was always a problem when you were going through a hatch and you were climbing up that where you would get to the top and you would just fall straight down to the bottom. So it's nice they've gone and done that. Oh, there goes my VTOL. Um, so this is why you tie things down, everyone. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much about it for this week's updates. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, uh, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if there's any issues with audio, I do apologize. I am out on holiday at the moment. And I'm still trying to do the coverage for you guys for these updates. Uh, but anyway, we'll see you guys next week.